Delhi's heritage has 2,000 years of history and includes more than 1,000 tombs and forts. This impressive tomb made of blue tiles and stone is located at a circle opposite to the entrance gate of Varakamba on the eastern enclosure wall of Nizamuddin complex. The tomb known as Nila Gurbat or Blue Tomb, so called because it carries striking blue glazed tiles. It was built by Abdul Rahim Khan Khan, a son of Bairam Khan, also a courtier in Mughal Emperor Akbar's court for his servant Mia Fahim. This structure is known for its unique architecture as it is octagonal on the outside while square within. Its ceiling is decorated with a painted and incised plaster. It is a high neck dome and shows a conspicuous absence of double dome feature common to tomb of the period. Several monuments dot the pathway leading up to the tomb enclosure from the main entrance in the west. Prominent among them is one that predates the main tomb itself by 20 years. of Suri dynasty who fought against the Mughal. Shah later served as a burial place for the entire family of Isa Khan. On the western side of the tomb lies a three-bay white mosque in red sandstone. The octagonal tomb bears a striking resemblance to the other tomb of Suri dynasty. Monuments in the Lodi Garden in Delhi and demonstrates a marked progression in the development of the wonderful architectural style of the main tomb.
Some of the architectural details present here were seen later in the main Humayu tomb, though on a much grander scale such as tomb being placed in a wall garden enclosure. Now we come to Bu Halima's tomb and garden. When entering the complex from the west, visitors first enter a garden complex known as Bu Halima's garden, though little is known about her and since the tomb or the raised platform where it once stood is not at the center, it appears to be a later addition. In southwest end of the complex lies the Afsarwala tomb or officer's tomb, belonging to a nobleman Afsar Indianized word for officer in Akbar's court. After that we comes to Arab Sarai. Literally the meaning of Sarai is rest house for the Arabs. The structure stands adjacent to the Afsarwala mosque and was built by Bega Begum. Apparently built for the craftsmen who came for the construction work, it could accommodate 300 Arabs. highly geometrical and enclosed paradise garden is divided into four squares by paved walkways and two bisecting central water channels reflecting the four rivers that flows in Jannat, the Islamic concept of paradise. squares is further divided into smaller squares with pathways creating into 36 squares in all. The central water channels appears to be disappearing beneath the tomb structure and reappearing on the other side in a straight line.
suggesting the Quranic verses which talks of rivers flowing beneath the garden of paradise. Real burial chambers of the emperor, however, lies further away in an underground chamber, exactly beneath the upper monument, reachable through a separate passage outside the main structure, which remains mostly closed to the visiting public. North India was successive rule of foreign dynasties in the coming centuries giving rise to the Indo-Islamic architecture. The high rubble built enclosure is entered through two lofty double-storied gateways on the west and south, 16 meters high with rooms on either side of the passage and a small courtyard on the upper floors. Inspired by the Persian architecture, the tomb reaches a height of 47 meters and is 300 feet wide, the first Indian building to use the Persian double tomb on a high neck drum. As a contrast to the pure white exterior tomb, rest of the building is made up of red sandstone with white and black marble and yellow sandstone detailing. declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993 and since then has undergone extensive restoration work which is complete. It was also the first structure to use red sandstone at such a large scale. The tomb was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993 and since then has undergone extensive restoration work which is complete.
complex encompasses the main tomb of the Emperor Humayu, which houses the graves of Bega Begum herself, Hamida Begum and also Dara Shiko, great-great-grandson of Humayu and son of the later Emperor Shah Jahan, as well as numerous other subsequent Mughals including Emperor Jahandar Shah, Rafiul Darjat, Rafiul Dalat and Alamgi. This chamber with high ceiling is then encompassed by four main octagonal chambers on two floors set at the diagonal with arch lobbies leading to them, also connecting them. Over 100 graves within the entire complex, including many on the first level terrace, earning it the name Dormitory of Mughals. Since the graves are not inscribed, their identification remains uncertain. Dormical structure were first introduced in India by Alauddin Khilji of Khilji dynasty, who expanded the Qutub complex with the construction of Alai Darwaza in it. This concept again came from Persian architecture and was adopted by all dynasties later. Same style followed by Mughals. The main chamber also carries the symbolic element, a mehrab design over the central marble lattice or chali facing Mecca in the west. Here, instead of traditional chapter of Holy Quran which is inscribed on the mehrab or niche in the western wall, or niche in the western wall, this one is just an outline light to enter directly into the chamber from Qibla or direction of Mecca.
burial technique along with Petra Dura, a marble and even stone inlay, ornamentation in numerous geometrical and arabesque pattern seen all around the facade is an important legacy of Indo-Islamic architecture and flourished in many later Mazulia of Mughal Empire. The building was first to use its unique combination of red sandstone and white marble and includes several elements of Indian architectural like the small canopies or chhatris surrounded the central dome. Popular in Rajasthani architecture and which were originally covered with blue tiles. The char bagh pattern was modeled on Gure Amir, the tomb of Humayu's ancestors and Asia's conqueror Tamur Lang in Samarkand. It created a pattern for future Mughal architecture of Royal Masulia which reached its peak with Taj Mahal at Agra.
entire tomb and the garden are enclosed within high rubble walls on three sides. The fourth side was meant to be the river Yamuna which has since shifted course away from the structure.